suite of music from the Mark with three oranges. Sergei yeah. Prokofiev's. Yuri Tanner Tana conducted the St. Petersburg Philharmonic Orchestra on Latin City. Now this is our treasure room. Many great, great historical treasures are in this room going back to the 15th century. The furniture is actually by uh, Pierre Antoine Bellager. He was cabinet maker to King Charles X. The furniture dates from about 1810 and uh, is Paris high style. The uh, arms of the furniture are in the shape of uh, the swan, which was Josephine's favorite uh, uh, style. And uh, there's actually furniture by Belanger in the White House in the Blue Room. But these pieces, I think, are earlier. Uh, in the corner over there, we have a statue of Mary Magdalene. It goes back to 1410, and it's Flemish. It's a reliquary statue. They used to keep a relic of her garment in the back. The documents on the wall, on one side we have uh, uh, Joseph Bonaparte as emperor, who's his brother to Napoleon. On the other side we have a document signed by Napoleon as emperor. And a little further on the other wall we have uh, uh, Marie Louise, a document signed by, by his beautiful wife, with whom he had a child. So we have many historical treasures in this room. The Sevres vase there is uh, signed by Duprez, who is one of the greatest uh, 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 painters of these vases, very valuable vase. The bronze there is French, late 18th century. It's called a brule parfum, which means it's a, an incense burner. And it's as fine an example as you will see in any museum in the world. The French were masters at bronze making during the late 18th century. The English were very competitive with them, and jealous, in fact, of the French bronze makers. Over here we have a gold ground painting. That's uh, actually, light's not very good over here, but that's a 15th century painting from obviously a church or a chapel. That's St. Paul of the Sword. Very few of these paintings are in private hands anymore. They're all in museums. We have here, again, historical documents. This is the uh, last will and testament of Dowager Lady Strathmore. And uh, not only do I have in here her last will and testament. By the way, Dowager Lady Strathmore was the mother to the Queen Mother of England who died in the last couple of years. And uh, in any case, besides the marriage contract uh, in the last will and testament, we also have the entire inventory of Glamis Castle, where uh, uh, the late uh, Queen Mother was raised as a child. Very unusual to have documents like this in my collection. People ask me, where did you get it? And I, I always tell them, well, that's a secret. I have here the uh, belt buckle of Dr. Arnaud. Dr. Arnaud was Napoleon's doctor. And this belt buckle was in Napoleon's presence on his deathbed. It's documented. We have many rare books. This is a book from uh, the library of King Henry VIII. It's actually dedicated to King Henry. On one side, this is an impressed binding, one of the very first impressed bindings in the world, an Oxford binding. And these show the four apostles on one side. And on the other side, you can see this is uh, King Henry's uh, coat of arms, the rampant hounds. And the book has been owned by many great collectors, uh, Baron Double, Horatio Walpole, among others, Clarence Bemis. And now, of course, it's in my collection. <laughs> Actually, by being a, a book collector, you can become very famous down through history uh, if you are a great collector. We just sold uh, at auction at Sotheby's an incunabulum, which is a book printed before the year 1500. And it was a Justinian Codex, magnificent book. And that money will be used for uh, restoring, restoring this magnificent building. Other objects in the room, nice paintings. This, uh, this magnificent council down here. It's one of the most magnificent pieces I've seen. 
I deal with that myself. I asked Salvadis to do it, except they were talking about, you know, pounds and pounds of gold leaf, and it would, you know, cost a fortune to do. So in the end, I did it. Over in the corner here, we have uh, this uh, magnificent carving of Christ. This Italian high renaissance sustained some damage over the year, but still a magnificent carving. Especially if you uh, throw the shadows up from below, you get all, all the magnificent uh, sculpting. You can see, very nice, nice job. A very sympathetic piece. Next to it is a cutting from a, a book of hours. It shows uh, Mary and the doctors a nice little uh, scene there. Actually, uh, I think uh, cuttings from books of hours are the most expensive works of art in the world per, per ounce, so I'm told. Over here we have other things. I don't think I'll talk about that knife right here, but uh, <laughs> It has some great history of its own. It's not just an ordinary object. It 